Well, spring is the time of year that's often associated with renewal, reorganization, and change. So it's a good time to rethink your approach to good health. Today, in the sixth installment of our Fitness 411 series with the American Council on Exercise, we welcome back to the show Jonathan Ross, an ace personal trainer and writer for Women's Health Magazine. He has some tips to help us spring clean our approach to overall health and fitness. So glad you're here. Good to see you, Jonathan. Thank you. I love the idea of spring cleaning your body because we spring clean our homes. You also have to take stock of what's going on here as well. So it's out with the old, in with the new. The first tip that you have focuses on sleep. Let's start there. All right, all about renewal. Sleep helps us recover from workouts. So one of the most important factors of that is we make progress when we're recovering, not when we're doing the workout. Sleep is when the body puts out a lot of hormones that help the body repair itself. And the interesting thing also about sleep is that if you miss it, your body's gonna push you towards seeking out sugary foods for a quick hit of energy. And you're also, frankly, just awake to be eating more calories throughout the day. Now, I'd heard the opposite. I heard that the more you exercise and the better you feel and the more you're into it, the less sleep you need. But you're looking at me like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just not true. Okay. The reality is that Proper sleep makes your uptime more up and your ah. downtime more down. So that means your sleep gets better, your uptime is better, you have better workouts, you think better, you problem solve better. So the idea is that you're no longer sleepwalking through your day. A lot of people that miss sleep, they spend the day being drowsy, tired, unfocused, and unproductive. And then when they go to bed, they get stressed and can't sleep because they're worried about all the stuff they didn't get done that, that day. That is a very good point. That's very true. You know, you've been here a few times, and you often talk about a fitness program. But yet, as you know, some people, like myself, we lead very, very busy lives. Sometimes it's hard to fit that in, that fitness program. What do you recommend for people like me? Well, our body doesn't need too much structure or a fitness program oh. per se. It just needs an appropriate challenge. So if you ever want to see changes in your body, all you have to do is bring a challenge to it. You don't need a lot of time. You just need enough time to bring a challenge to yourself. How much time should we spend? What is enough time? Well, a few days per week, at least, to actually exercise. That's where you're getting a very big challenge. The rest of the days per week, just make sure you're staying active. Our bodies are made to be active most of the time, but we don't have to exercise all the time. So we don't have to hit it hard every single day of the week, but we do have to hit it hard occasionally enough to cause the body to change. Because if we don't have a challenge, we don't ever see change. So take me as your model here. Let's say I only have 10 minutes, which I have to tell you, a lot of days I do. If I only have 10 minutes, what would you say to me? What could you show me to get me on the right path? And, and also something that's got kind of a general approach at the same time. Okay, something you can do in home. A couple of, of dumbbells is all you need. Okay. Four exercises, you spend 10 minutes doing as many sets of this as you can. So you just kind of repeat the movements one after the other, maybe about 10 reps each, it's fine. Let's here, do it. Here we go. Let's go. Grab a couple of dumbbells. Okay. We're going to do a front to back lunge okay. with a reach of the opposite hand to whichever foot is in front. So, we keep, hand, gotcha. so we keep one foot still all the one time. One foot still. And we would then step forward and reach with the opposite hand. Okay. Take that same leg, step it through and all the way back and then reach forward with the opposite hand. Ah. And we just keep going back and forth like that. We reach all the way down to the foot if you can, because that's gonna help load the glute a little bit more on our lunge. And the weight just gives us a little bit more resistance. You can easily do this without dumbbells as well. Jonathan, you're just showing off because you're moving faster than I am. Well, I am a trained professional. So well, that would be true, and I am definitely an amateur. All right, what's next? For the next exercise, we just need one dumbbell. Okay. So we're getting rid of one. And we'll hold the outsides of that one dumbbell with each hand. Got it. You'll get to a comfortable foot spacing for squatting. So you'll squat and then do a shoulder press as we get to the top. So we squat by sitting down and back. As you come up, you'll press overhead in a big oh, oval yeah. or circle. Come down and squat again, press up the other side and down. So we're getting the benefits of a squat and a shoulder press together while you're also getting a little bit of a core challenge because the weight is moving outside the center of your body. That's a three for, three for one. Three for one. You're getting you three it. in one. I like it. All right, you're Absolutely. on a roll. Let's keep going. Next one is a dumbbell row, but we're going to do this in a little bit of a different way so it uses upper body and lower body together. Okay. Hold the dumbbell in one hand, step forward with the opposite foot. Okay. We'll put most of your weight on the front leg only, so the back foot is just there for balance. Mm -hmm. Bring the chest down low and we'll start to do a dumbbell row while we keep all of that weight in that leg we're standing wow. on. So we get a big glute challenge on the leg we're, that we have out in front while we're doing that dumbbell row. You wouldn't think you'd feel it in your glute, but you absolutely do. You're putting all that weight right there. It's Great helping exercise. hold you upright. It's holding you upright. I love that one. You Very are good. really doing well. All right, last one. We'll bring you down to the floor, get rid of the dumbbells. Okay. We just sit comfortably on the floor with your knees bent, slightly feet relaxed. Well, let me go this way. Hands right by yep. your butt. Uh -huh. Let me turn this way. Okay. And then we'll drive your hips underneath of your shoulders. So we lift up, drive your hips underneath your shoulders using your abs, and then you push your hips forward and up oh. using your glutes. So it's abs to tuck under 
and then the glutes to come up. And make sure your eyes follow your chest, just like you're doing now. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Oh, good stuff there. Ah. And that's your four exercise circuit. Just keep repeating that. 10 reps of each for 10 minutes. There's your workout. Can we sit here for the rest of the interview? <laughs> Fine with me. No, we better get up. Thank you. All right, so at the end of the day, it sounds like what you're saying is that we have to kind of get our mindset right. We have to get thinking on the right path. What advice can you give us with regards to that? Because it really is about what's going on here, right? It is, and if exercise is really just nothing but another chore on your to-do list, not being able to do it is just gonna stress you out and you're gonna get more negative about it. So the, really the only way to make sure you do it is to, is to feel like it's something that you can benefit from and know that it's gonna give you the energy when you combine it with proper sleep to do everything else in your life better. So whatever it is you love, exercise will make you do it better. Oh, well, I love the fact that you showed me some really great exercises I can do at home when the boys are still asleep. So Jonathan, thank you so much for coming by. Good to see you as always. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And if you want more information on exercise and getting into shape, simply go to the website, afitness.org and check out the Get Fit section.